was was this uh, picture here of these uh, statues that were found over in Egypt, Upper Egypt, of black men that were placed there or carved out of solid granite thousands of years ago. And if you notice, he didn't ever turn it toward the camera. He kept it down. Well, I started to turn it toward the camera, but I didn't. I was trying to be polite. And uh, the, at that point. And, uh, but today in the Los Angeles Times on page two, they have this same picture. Uh, you look in the Los, today's Los Angeles Sunday Times and they have a, a story on page two about this temple over in Africa. They call it Egypt, but Egypt is in Africa. dying in a state of emergency. Say that. Say that, sir. We cannot look at this as an isolated incident. The reason why buildings are burning are not just for our brother George Floyd. We're, they're burning down because people here in Minnesota are saying to people in New York, to people in California, to people in Memphis, to people all across this nation, enough is enough. Yes. And we are not responsible for the mental illness that has been inflicted upon our people by the American government, institutions, and those people who are in positions of power. I don't get- Okay, 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 okay. It's time for me to really speak up about a lot of stuff that's going on right now, man. All the stuff that people keep saying and people keep doing and stuff like that. A lot of people out here, they trying to be good leaders. They're trying to um, have, they're trying to be a motivator speaker for the youth. They're trying to speak up about what's going on on some revolutionary stuff. I'm on the same, I'm on the same stuff on some revolutionary stuff or whatever like that. But a lot of people, they gotta, they gotta understand it that the government, the constitution, all the other type of stuff like that, it play a role. It play it play a role in stuff like that. But real for real, our own people, our own race. And to me, I'm all lives matter. In this matrix simulation, all all lives matters. All lives matter in this matrix simulation. And people keep keep talking about Malcolm X and stuff. I know Malcolm X, all these other leaders. They've been trying to tell us and teach us and let us know what we got to do. But that way, that way that they were showing us and telling us, that way did not even work or whatever like that. You feel me? That way didn't even work or whatever like that. So right now, people keep talking about segregate, um, segregate, um, segregation. Damn, if I'm saying that word right or whatever like that. People keep talking about, like, we need some surrogation and shit. I'm like, for what? Talking about we need our own nation. Like, uh, like all black people need their whole, their, their own nation. And all white people need their, their own nation. All these, like, we need to be divided. All, all races should have their own nation. That's stupid, man. That's stupid. How the hell y'all gonna talk about we need segregation? And y'all don't even know what the hell y'all came from. All y'all still in religion. All y'all still program. All y'all still in this matrix illusion. Still trapped. You feel me? You, I, it's us. It's not the government. It's not the C virus. It's not none of this pandemic. It's us. It's us. We got to change. We got to be on top of the government. We got to, we in the community got to create government. We in the community got to create police. We got to do it for ourselves. We don't need to be marching. We don't need to be um, going fighting for George, um, whatever his name is, whatever the case may be. We don't need to be fighting for nobody but ourselves to keep ourselves alive, to keep a roof over our head. We got to stop, keep on crying and complaining about the government doing this, the government doing that. 
and your own people in your own community is selling drugs to your mother, is selling drugs to your father, is selling drugs to your you know, the crackhead niece, um, um, auntie and uncle and your nieces and stuff like that. Come on, man. It's our own people destroying and tearing down our own community. And then we coming back talking about, oh, it's the government, it's this and that. Like, we need to get it together. It's not the government. They play a role of doing certain, certain stuff like that. It's because they trying to clean this up. This is what they doing with, with reverse psychology. The government, the constitution, and everything like that, they trying to clean this stuff up. Because we fail to clean up our work, they going to clean it up. That's just how this goes or whatever like that. Somebody going to do it. If, if, if I keep on talking about what people keep doing in the communities and what and, and who the real enemies, the real enemies for real, for real, all the drug dealers, all the gang bangers, all the, all the street, street niggas, all the people in the street killing our own people, robbing and all that type of stuff like that. That's really the real, the real enemies. Your parents can be can be the real enemies, or whatever. Like your parent can be an elite, or whatever. Like that to you, not to people in the street in the community. To you, because they not supporting your dreams. They not trying to help you elevate or nothing. Only thing they do is care about themselves and, and and sit back and watch you fail and sit back and watch you go out here and kill somebody. Your own family. Your own, per I mean, man, I ain't gonna say family because family don't don't allow that stuff to happen. Family protect you. Parents don't do that. I don't care if fuck your mother, your father. I don't care if your your um your 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 grandfather, your grandmother, your uncle, your aunt. I don't care. If oh my family, I ride for my family. I die for mine. This and that. Come on, shut the hell up. If nobody that you so called is your blood family or whatever like that, and your circle is not supporting you, or they not trying to build a, a business or anything within the family, they not family. They just around you, but they not really real family. A real family is gonna stick together. Like I shouldn't have to go outside of my mother, my father, my uncle, my brothers, my sisters, to some stranger people. The, the, to start a business. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that. I should do that with the family that I brought up into. If they was family. You, you see what I'm saying? You see how laws and brainwash our ass? Y'all too busy looking at the president doing this, Trump doing this, Bill Gates doing this, they doing this, they doing this, they doing that. But we're not looking at ourselves. What is we doing? We just keep talking about stuff. But we're not doing nothing. And I'm not about to get out here on a Martin Luther King or Michael Max type of stuff and have somebody take me out. Have my own people take me out because I'm trying to help clean the community up. Because I'm trying to help get people to stick together and love each other and share. It's y'all. It's, it's not nobody else. It's y'all. Y'all can say I'm a coon. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. And y'all can keep on talking about 6 9 this, 6 9 that. But 6 9 did a good job by snitching on them. He did a good job by being a rat. Because them same blood, them blood gang members are the same people that's killing our people. They need to be destroyed. They need to be gone. We got to clean some of this stuff up. If we got to work, if the people in the communities got to work with the police to take down the people that's not keeping the peace in the community, they need, we need to do that. People in the community need to work with the police to have some police brutality. We need some community brutality. We need to stop, keep on burning down stuff. For what? And the real enemies is in your community. The real enemy is in your house. You sleeping with the devil. You sleeping in the same house with the enemy, but you don't even know who is the real enemy. So we need to wake up and realize who the hell is the real enemy. Who is keeping us far behind? Who is keeping us still in a dark in, in dark nation? I don't know what to tell y'all, man. Wake up, man. Think, think, think more outside the box. Search, search a little bit more deeper because y'all only keep on talking about the government this, the government that. Y'all don't do no research. That's why y'all keep looking at the government. 
and keep looking at the C virus and keep looking at the pandemic because y'all brainwashed. Y'all got a mental ill. Stop all this. Every time a black person dies, y'all get mad and y'all want to preach about this and that. Shut the hell up. It's more white crimes than black crimes. Just do y'all research, but y'all not, not talking about that. Y'all dumbing. Y'all dumbing laws. Bye-bye.